You had to rank them in order. One, two, three. Lionel, sex, love, money. I would say love first, of course, naturally. And then I would say money probably and then sex. I don't know if I would even want to have sex if I'm just broke. I'll be like stressed out. Mm. So you know so you said you said love, money, and then sex last. Okay. Naomi. I feel that that's my that's my answer too. Same thing. Love, of course, money, love sex gotta come money. first. Right. Love gotta come first. And I love feel like the sex in what context? I definitely need the money before I need the sex. <laughs> Right. They didn't give you a lot of time to think, Sister Mo. It's on you, guys. Yeah, well, um, I mean, if I'm talking about me personally to myself, like yes, nigga, you personally for your me and my idea of what needs to come first. Shit, where I'm at in life, I feel like money first. Okay, talk that because shit. It's gonna make it a lot easier to be able to find real shit for yourself because you're not worried and stressed about. The aspect of money unfortunately we live in the type of society that money rules everything so i don't know that's how i feel at this point in my life like love is definitely gonna come next sex is last that's my throw boy i'm sorry Damn. but that's just that's just how it is look money is gonna all my financial shit you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of things that i stress about and things like you know worry about are a lot of times tied with financial things when it comes to love and sex, it's like, okay, those are things that I can really choose and just kind of, you know, make a right fit for myself. But money is not something I can always make a right fit for myself. So money is definitely, I feel like, most important in the type of society we live in. That's the context I'm, I'm working with. So you said money first, then love, then sex? Yes. All right. So I'm going to fuck up the apple cart because make no mistake. <laughs> Make no mistake. Listen, I can fall in and out of love. I can fall in and out of that shit. So it's important, but love comes and goes. Love, love is fickle. Love can money be fickle. Money comes and goes. So to say. Money like, comes and goes. Money comes and goes. But I'm talking about. Yeah, but love don't come like that. 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 Love don't come I don't like how I'm being attacked right now. I feel like I'm being attacked. You are attacked. You're Everybody thinking, else said they shit. You're thinking with I'm your root chakra. You're thinking with your sacral <laughs> chakra. We need to be up here, neck level, okay? Oh, shit. Here you go. You got your hair wrap on, so here you go. Okay. Let, Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> the essence of love does not come and go. No, I'm telling you, love can be fickle, man. That shit is like, it's you know. It's not love. Nah, I love a lot of motherfuckers. Love I love. Fickle. It's a, lo it's a lot of motherfuckers that, that you don't always stay in love with somebody. But I feel like if you love someone, like you just love someone and it should be like that. It'd be a lot of hurt that goes. Yeah, but it's a lot of people that I love that I don't even talk to no more. But is it not still love? Like, why you don't talk to them just because you don't talk to them anymore? Like, yeah, like I still got. I don't talk to them anymore. Like, but like, that doesn't diminish the love that I have for them, even if it was at that time. Oh no, it diminishes the love. It changes the look. <laughs> there are different types in the Bible. They and talk love about does change. Yeah, That's in the Bible they talk about change. that is different like, types of love. Change. In the Bible they specify. Let me get biblical, God damn it, here for a minute. Yeah, God damn it, somebody. Where JC at? Yeah, just because there's different types of love doesn't mean that, that it's any less valuable. And um, that just goes yes, more no, into no, show. it does because no, it doesn't make it any less valuable. At all. In the Bible, like, it's all yeah, Bible you love your kids. Here, there's you just love different your forms. Kids. Like there's water, there's air, there's fire. There's different forms of matter, but they're all necessary. All phases. <laughs> And yeah, but agape love, agape love is different than other types of love. That's why they have a different have, have a different name for it. God says that He has a, agape love, which is different. You dig? That's what I, that's all I'm saying. I don't got what agape is, love. What's what scripture say? Huh? What what scripture say? What, what you were saying? You never said. I mean, I don't got the scripture. I mean, I know something about it. I went to Sunday school. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm an old I'm an old Southern nigga. You dig? I, I can quote a lot of shit from the Bible. Um, I can't give you all the shit. I listen. I I just smoked a lot of weed and drank a lot of alcohol. I don't know all that shit. 
I can give you the book, chapter, and verse. I can just tell you what it say. You look, you Google that. Google those words. The God they love. Google that shit. But anyway, okay. So my thing would be right. My thing would be because um, Mo, what would you say first? You said money first, right, Mo? I think personally, for me, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, right, the most important thing would be, I would say that I would take it that we have sexual chemistry first, money second, and love third. And the only reason I say that is because, listen, man, a lot of people out here that are in long-term relationships, they are in more loyalty than they are in love. I'm not saying that's healthy. I'm just saying I know a lot of people that are in loyalty versus really being in love. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've been together 15 years, 10 years, and they're just in, like, they're super loyal to that person. You know what I mean? So yeah, are we mad at that? Because I feel like they coincide. I think love and lo loyalty are just as the moon and the sun. Like, it would, what would the moon be? I mean, the sun would still shine. Like, love would still be love without loyalty. <laughs> but what would the moon be without, you know? So I think that they are one and the same, you know? I feel that perspective. Because you could be having <laughs> sex with, like, a prostitute or a crackhead. And, like, the crackhead could be rich. But nonetheless, the bitch is addicted to crack, and she's a crackhead, and like you're getting crackhead pussy from a rich crackhead. But y'all don't love each other. There's no feelings, and this is like, is that the thing though? Because she's rich, and like there's sex. Like no, there's needs. There has to be the shade. There's got to be the actual thing that you can't see. Otherwise, you would be done with that shit in a month or two. As a human, like sex and like money is only gonna take you so far. Legit. Like Terry, Terry be, Lee. Hold on, I wanna. Tell, what you talking about? You said it changes through the course of the relationship. Are you saying what's the priority between those three changes? Talk to me, because I think that's interesting. I can, I think I probably agree with that. I think that that it can change. The priorities can change as that relationship goes on. I think that that it can. I, I, you know what? I agree with that. I think the longer the relationship goes, those three things can potentially change because once you got money. You know what I'm saying? Once you got money, it's like, okay, we got money now. Okay. Is that really important? Because now, because like everybody's been poor. Once you get rich, now you've been rich or you've been well off. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, I've been both. Is that really that important? You know what I'm saying? Like Kanye got the got one of the best verses of all time. Having money's not everything, not having it is, right? That's a look when I first heard him say that, I was like, that's real than a motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> That is the truth. That's but, the that's, but that's the thing. Like money is this illusion. The fact that it's even in the same conversation as love is blasphemy. Like that's a slap to the face of something as powerful as love. Like because money is an illusion. That's but you illusion. know that's why most marriages end. Though most marriages end because well, that's also why I feel like marriage. I don't think marriage. Um, please find the word. I don't think marriage is synonymous to love. I don't feel that. Mm. Okay. Look at the stats. Niggas are getting broken up and divorces over money, the illusion part. But like, there's people that never got married and they rock for a lifetime into eternity. But, I like, wonder what their financial situation was, though. You know, I wonder if they were like rocking broke. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. Because like, we don't know the stats. Because sure. like, we can go to the marriage stats, right? Because you got to file paperwork, so we can literally go and see how many people were married, then how many people got divorced. With people that don't have the, we don't know what those stats are. You know what I'm saying? So it's difficult to really quantify that. You know what I mean? Yeah. For statistical analysis, at least. But at least in my parents, like they never got divorced. They were married from I was a baby to my mom's not here on this planet anymore, and it was straight love through thick and thin, sick and all the shit. Yeah, they was there with love, and like it was poor and through like phenomenal stability. So. But like that's the thing, like like we can see, like I was able to see like money and all that shit came and go. Like they were not like sex, and that shit is not the basis of anything. Unless like I feel like, you know, whatever you're like, that's just like what you're looking for. But then love isn't a part of that conversation. You know, I mean, here's you know, what that's, that's maybe, maybe you're right, Courtney, because maybe I was thinking this. This no, nigga tried to real, I'm like, damn, man, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I mean, I'm just saying, love. like, you know, Nigga like, I'm moving in love. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, listen, I love a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, understand, like, I love, I love my my car that that the fucking guy at the mechanic place fucked up. I love that car. 
Like my wife had been trying to get me to get rid of my car or my truck for like five years. I'm like, no, I'm not getting rid of it. Like I know that's my shit. That's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like I love that car. So it's like, for me, I just like, I internalize or I look at love so different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't look at, like, maybe this sounds fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's levels to love. Like, the way I love my wife is different than the way I love my kids. Like, it's just different. And that's different than the way I love my homeboys and my parents. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is different. Yeah, it is different. I think of it probably in a different aspect. Probably maybe because I haven't been married and I haven't been in like a a partnership, like a long term partnership. But I think the reason why mine was money first was because I'm thinking of it next in a matter of love after that. Because I'm wanting to provide. I'm wanting to be able to, you know, provide for myself. Oh, that's facts. Not only myself, but those that I do love. You know what I'm saying? So Money at this point, like we just talked about, like you were just saying a little earlier, like for those who don't have it, it means so much more to those that don't have it. I think that's where I'm at in life, where it's just like, yo, like there would be so much less that I'll have to worry about with certain things in my life if money wasn't a problem. Like right. If money wasn't an issue, money wasn't something that I need to worry about. I could focus more on the love that I'm giving to people and like, you know, ways that I can support and help family members and friends and things like that. And I can really focus on that more. But for me, that's like top right now. Cause that's that's the only way I'm be able to really do something. You know what I'm saying? In, in our society. And that's why I, I keep coming back.